What's up guys and welcome to Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions. This is a game that came out earlier this week, Tuesday, November 25th, 2014 on the PlayStation 4 and it is a fantastic twin stick shooter. To be honest, this might be the premier twin stick shooter on the PlayStation 4, so if you're a fan of the genre and you have a PlayStation 4 and you're looking for a new twin stick shooter to play, look into having this one, it is awesome. So why don't we head in and I'll talk a little more about it. All right, so we're gonna try the adventure mode here. There are several different modes and I'll show each one off a bit, but of course, the adventure mode is the main play here, and there are a lot of levels to be had. You can see I've played like a good 11 levels now, and I'm not even halfway through. There is a lot to be had here, and it's really cool. There's a sense of progression. There's a sense of, well, not adventure, but like, like I said, progression in the fact that you're making more and more levels, but you're also enhancing your, your character, your vehicle, whatever you would like to say. But let's head in, and I'll explain a little more about it. Let's do an earlier level. And let's just head in. And it's really cool, it's all about, you know, like, there's different style of gameplay within the game. So, like, you know, sometimes it's all about beating the clock. You have to defeat as many po enemies as possible within the time area, or sometimes it's just about not dying, and as soon as you die, the level's over. You know, it depends, and that changing actually makes it really fresh, fresh each time. Each time I'm really willing to, like, you know, try it out, because it's really fun, and it's really varying. And that variety and the replayability is to provide in this game is really, really nice. Now, why it's called Geometry Wars is obviously because you're fighting geometrical shapes, as you can see. <laughs> and overall, the design of this game is really, really cool. It looks really, really nice, fresh, and sleek. Its lack of detail when it comes to the environments is actually very, very important, because you want to put 100% of your focus on what's happening in the game. And there you go, I already died. I'm not that great at the game. It's a very, very challenging game, definitely for those who are really invested in that twin-stick shooter-type genre. But it does, you know, play a similar role to other twin stick shooters, of course. I have lives, I have power-ups, I also even have a bomb, which I can use to clear the whole screen if things get a little sketchy for me, like I just did. And there's just a variety of different enemies that have different ways to approach them, and it's really cool. One thing that really makes the replayability high here is that you have a star system. Basically, depending on your score, is how many stars you'll get. And the stars aren't just a completion thing, they actually have some type of dependency on the game. Not only will you be able to progress, because only you're only allowed to unlock more levels by having a certain amount of stars, so not only will you progress in the game, but you're able to unlock more power-ups and more upgrades to your ship by getting more stars. So stars are definitely important, so there's an added replayability to the levels by keep on playing them, mastering them, and getting as high a score as possible. Or you can play horrible like I am. It's hard to talk and play a game like this, but I get, you know, you guys probably get the idea. And we're about to run out of time here. This is a timed level. And yeah, it's overall a really cool game. I'm absolutely loving it so far. And here you can see, I'm, I've just barely made the one star target. But if I got two million points, I would have gotten a two star. Wow, I'm playing so bad, I am so sorry. <laughs> but there is such a high replayability, because not only that, but you also have scoreboards, as we're about to see here, that we can compare to our friends and compare to other people online. And it is really cool to have that level of replayability in this. There is hours worth of play here. So like I said, we could keep playing, and it's like I could go over here and you know play another level. And if we go here, you can see this is what I'm talking about here. We have little companions, like this is the attack drone that we have here, but we can also collect, do a collect drone, which collects some of the uh, multipliers for us and stuff like that. So we have different drones that we only unlock by defeating boss fights, which I've only done two boss fights so far, and they're rather difficult, pretty darn hard, but you can upgrade them by using some type of currency. I forgot what the currency is called, I think this is called gems. And then you can use those gems to, you know, you uh, you get more of those by just playing, and you can use those to upgrade your ship. So just by playing, you have a sense of progression. Then after you pick your drone, your drone will have a super. And this super is some type of power-up. Usually you unlock these, yeah, by collecting stars. And then after you unlock them, you do the same thing, you upgrade them with the gems. So it has that really good sense of progression to it, that you're getting better and better as go as it goes on. And like I said, like I can only, like I can't go to this level, I think? Oh no, it looks like I can. Okay then, but there are certain levels that I need a certain amount of stars to progress to. So I need to go back and master some of these, get higher star counts, all that kind of stuff. And as you progress, these levels get easier because your ship gets better and you get better at the game. And that is the adventure mode, a very, very solid mode. You also have classic mode, which has a variety of different game modes that are just based on getting the highest score possible. There's no upgrading. You start the same each and every time. My person, personal favorite is the pacifism. Classic, basically you can't actually shoot anybody. You have to go through rings to actually uh, kill enemies, which is really cool. 
Besides that, we also have um, some online mode. Now, they, my personal experience, I have yet to play with anyone online. Connecting, there was just nobody to play with. You can choose to play with somebody privately, so you can, if you have a friend online that already has a game, cool, you can set up a game with them and play with them whenever you want. It seems to be having an issue connecting right now. But basically, there are two game modes that you can play online, and you can find a random player online, or you can find your friends. But if you have a friend at home, you also have local co-op. As you can tell, there is a lot to experience in Geometry Wars Cubed, and it's really, really cool. I wanna play some more of that pacif pacifism mode, because I really enjoyed that. And I'll sort of just talk a little more about the game. I have to say, like I said, this is, so far when it comes to, you know, shooter genre, this is the PS4's best. I haven't seen anything that rivals the quality. Of course, we've had similar stuff like Nano Assault and Neo X and other twin stick shooters that are a little different, like <laughs> Crimson Land, that are really awesome and fantastic games, but I feel like this sets the bar much, much higher. And not that they're bad games, it's just that I'm bad at the game. <laughs> but it's just, they're so, this is so solid, it's so good. But there we go, you know, this is Geometry Wars Cubed in a nutshell. A really fun game that I can't really seem to put down. I keep on wanting to play it and get better and better. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the look at this game, it is in the link in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family because their support really does help. And commenting in the comment section below, what do you think about Geometry Wars Cubed Dimensions? And do you think you're gonna get it yourself? Because I definitely recommend it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.